Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs, and in today's video we're playing some more Rogue Lands Mini on the randomizer. Let's go ahead and make sure we get a nice new randomized seed to play with. Bada bing, new seed, ready to go. And we're going to select a new character, select Axton, and get in there. Now, I just came off doing um, what felt like four hours of wall sits. So it was probably more like longs of, more along the lines of 40 seconds. But my legs are on fire. So I want something else besides me to be on fire. Hopefully the enemy's here. But we're going to check out what skills we get here in a second. So gear up, guys. This is going to be a big one. I just know it. Mm, let's see. I want to get skills that help my turret duration. I haven't gotten sentry in three and a half thousand years since I started using randomizer. And it's not going to change today. Sentry, my, my turrets are not going to last very long. I see cloud kill down here. I don't see any... I mean, adding, getting, a, getting a slag on my turret and getting some more max HP on my turret is nice. Um... But the thing is, I don't have a way to keep my action skill out longer, which is extremely tough. We do have Steady, which helps out our explosive damage. We have War. Do we have Willing for shields? Do not. Okay. We are coming off a win, though. Um, coming off a nice, fresh win on Maya. If you guys want to go check that last video out. I forgot, don't know what I'm going to be naming it, but it was a nice, nice win. Let's go for... Uh, this middle skill tree looks nice. I mean, we can go Reaper, Steady, Better Half, Pressure, Onslaught, Cloud Kill. It, it all looks pretty, pretty nice. But this one looks nice too. Accelerate, Locked and Loaded, Raving Retribution, Impact, Bloodfield Guns. So... We do have a lot of good options here, but I do think taking these two points first is probably more important. And then let's go for... I think this tree might have a little bit more for us. Just a little bit. Because uh, as much as I want Battlefront, without extra cooldown reduction, we're not going to be getting our turret back that quickly. It's just going to die. So let's go for Reaper. The extra gun damage while enemies are high on health. I'm high on life. They're high in health. Uh, could be pretty useful. Max HP. Give myself a shield. Okay. Now, we do have... I think a pretty good chance this run to do okay. Especially since we have turrets for slag. Ooh, a tough first zone. Okay, let's go. Do I have anything corrosive? I do. Let's get this corrosive gun out here. And make sure our launcher's in slot 4. Other than that, we should be fine. Which shield do I like better? My adaptive shield, for sure. Alright, let's go. Throw it out. Slag up these guys, would you? There we go. Get slagged, homie. And get bagged, hopefully. Look at my turret. Already halfway done, and it's never gonna get any better. Go for a punch. There we go. What? Did, you lost your arms, bro. What happened? Destroy that barrel. Come on, come on down. The price is right. One easy kill at a time here. Don't want to don't try to do too much. But I do want to pick up some guns if I can. Oh, back up. Okay, see you later. Oh, some iridium too. That's nice. Is it still EXP loaders? Yeah, I don't want to get caught out in a bad spot. So let's open this up. And then not die to this guy. There we go. Um, what kind of... I don't know what kind of grid I have. But hopefully it'll do something to this guy. Ow, ow, ow. Cross this bad Larry out here. Okay, good. Thank you, turret. Keep on him. Keep on him. What's nice about... Right now, my turret would already be dead, basically. But you double its health um, with that longbow skill, so. I really wish I had some more CDR for it. I can try to get a CDR last mod. 
I can maybe help it out. TDR class mod and relic, but is that really worth it just for slagging? Maybe honestly. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Chill out here. Do not, uh, do not get let your shields get to get torched while this guy's here. Cause then he get then he get access to your health bar and then you're completely torched. Okay. You guys both got shields. Do so I have anything shock I can just use to take out the shields real quick? I do. In slot three. There we go. Now go to my corrosive damage weapon. No damage. No, no damage at all, actually. Yeah, we're in trouble. We're definitely in trouble. Give me my turret out. Oh, give me some, a little bit of heal juice. That's good. Good. Now you slag up this guy. Slag him up. Thank you. That's fine. We'll be just fine here. Here we go. Easy round. We are on the 1.0.9 update, like I said in the last few videos. So after the round is over, we cannot take any damage. Watch this. Look at that. Boom. No, I can't take any damage at all. Oh, that guy's standing straight up. Oh, more Iridium's going to be good, too. Let's see. We'll take elemental options here. Okay. Keep it moving. Mm, singularity. I don't have boar, so I can't utilize it for boar or anything like that. We are getting, you know, okay guns. Not the greatest. Alright, so Reaper is strong, and I think I'm going to go steady as well. In case I get any sort of explosive damage weapons. I mean, I could always just rack some TDRs. Slag damage or max ammo? Let's, let's take both. Okay, that's a nice Grenadier class mod, but this one's got 46% cooldown, right? We'll take that 46% cooldown right to start. And roll out. That way I can have my turret up more, and my turrets can be good for Slag McGlag. Okay, toss down my turrets. Not bad. Go down. Now what I probably should do is have the Grenadier class mod on. I'm gonna be if I'm gonna be shooting uh, chucking these chucking these TDRs out like this, but not bad. Yeah, thank you. Let's see. My shield's are already pretty good. We do want a transfusion though. Good transfusion there. Okay. Is there a pressure plate back here? I don't think I've ever found the pressure plate in this map. I know that there's no borderland symbol. Hyrex told me specifically that there's no borderland symbol here. But it doesn't mean there's no pressure plate. If I look on top of this roof, maybe? Yeah, if, what if I grenade jumped on top of this roof? There might be something up there. Yeah, well, you know what? We should probably go Grenadier class mod. And just blow stuff up because we've got steady. Let's let's try it up on this roof. Maybe a little grenade jump action. Oh, blast me the wrong way. Let's try this again. Let's this time toss the grenade behind me. There we go. I'm up. Is it up here? I can leave if I wanted to. Hmm. But for now, let's just use this, the TDR chucks. Oh, rabbit skag? No thanks, bro. I can kill anything else. Good in that yak. There we go. Open up, homie. Hmm, no Toro shield. I think I'm fine without it. I'd rather have the adaptive. Okay. Let's see. Let's take the Assault Rifle Gun damage. Onslaught and Impact. I have both those skills. So if I get a peak opener, I'm going to shamelessly take it like I always do. I just toss this grenade. See if I can grenade jump up here. Don't get me up there. Really? What's going on here? What? What? What is going on? How come I can't... Hmm. I wanted to check up there for a Borderlands symbol. Toss this right here. Maybe this will be it. I think that's because the round's over. 
and I can't take damage. That's something I gotta think about now, for sure. In the new updates, I don't think I can go for grenade jumps after the round is over. Okay. It's definitely something to think about. Alright, let's grab this power up and then head out. It's down here, right? Yeah. Five points. You can stick with this middle scotch tree. Uh, better half over sustenance. I th think it is better half over sustenance. Grab me and then power up me. Where'd you go? They're right there. Under the next stage, grab the dust. Not really gonna need this extra pellet spread, but is what it is. Oh, actually, yes, I am. Happy to have it now. Good stuff. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. First five kills in the books. Off rip. T door pistol. Fire T door pistol. Okay, our T doors are getting up there. T door trucks are just a really strong way to get through the early game. Using them can be extremely effective. Especially if it gets steady. Okay. Let's roll. Really? It feels like I'm playing, uh, what's it called? Warzone on Caldera. Have you guys ever played Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Warzone on Caldera? Like, every single rock that you run into completely halts all your progression. You don't got what it takes. Trust me here. Thank you. Later, kid. Okay. War land symbol me. Let's see. All the kind of max ammo that I don't want. And how about a cooldown rate at 41%? Not bad. We might actually get enough cooldown rate to make our turret worth it. Worthwhile. And all kinds of... All kinds of cooldown rate. Do we have blood-filled guns? I do. I can get a really sick, nasty javelin build going. That could be a good build for us. Let's go. Long rider? No, thank you. Because if I can get... If I can get 100 stacks of bloodlust, and then my magazine size goes to the moon, and then I and I throw reload a... a TD or launcher... Or, yeah, TD or launcher. Could be pretty nuts. Yeah, just, just taking a little bit of everything here. Okay. Next five, pretty easy decision here, I think. Go into pressure. And then it's going to be cloud kill, onslaught. Onslaught for the movement speed. Now, I don't have Gemini, so I can't, uh, you know, cheese my kill skills like I could in the last time I played Axon, but... This is what it is. Not a bad launcher. But is it better than mine? No, it's not. Not even close. Let's roll. Okay, here we go. Oh, I thought this was going to be Saturn for a second. No, it's not. In this, in this case, this is just to do out. Go down all of you. Oh, it looks like you're slagged up. Actually, that doesn't feel too good. When I'm on low HP, I get more faster reloads. There you go. What you drop me? A yellow jacket. Not the worst gun in the world. We get a yellow uh, red power for next stage as well. Gunnerang. Well, careful what you ask for. We got a gunnerang. Mm, let's take this one for sentry and resourceful, but we don't have sentry or resourceful. The cooldown rate is going to be useful, I think. Let's see. Homing transfusions are kind of meh. That one is okay. We take it. Let's shoot some skulls. Pop. Pop. And what's back here? Pop. There we go. Roll out. Roll out. Alright, this chest should be decent. 
Grenadier steady and impact. What I want now is I don't have grenadier. So what I what I really want is steady and impact. Might be a little bit better. Alright, so what I really want to do is Hmm. Increase damage and bullets people all gun types or locked and loaded. I think they're both decent. Let's do this one. But for now, honestly, this one's better. This because this gives me plus five in sentry. I don't have impact yet, so. Hop up here. Oh, you can't even. Okay. Shoot the skull. How about a transfusion that, you know, isn't homing? That would be nice for me. Take a Tesla. We have extra grenade damage. We can't, we maybe do want to be using our our grenades for extra damage. Okay, let's roll. Rocket Distillery shouldn't be too bad of a fight for us. Famous last words. Toss. Oh my gosh. Oh, good, good, good throw. Come on over here. Come on over here. Good, good toss. Missed. Going for the, they're going for the revive. Don't let it happen. There we go. Round over. This this one's a little bit bugged though. These guys stay alive just for a second. There we go. Gotta be careful on this stage for sure. Take the crystal cloud. This other boss drop me anything good? Okay. Now you owe me now. Okay, a, a slag ruby goes kind of hard. A twister? I think the twister does get splash damage scaling. So we got good options now. Alright. Definitely I got good options now. And accelerate should help the twisters. Yeah, the accelerate should help the twisters. Um, health speed. Okay, let's roll out. I do think I want to hit the box a couple times, but that being said, I do want shotgun ammo now. And pistol for the gunner ring. And grenade. Okay, honestly, I think we have enough weapons. We can just maybe not hit up the box this time around. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. The gunner ring, last time I used the gunner ring here, it went really, really well. So I should be ready to do this. This guy resists shock. We got a ruby though. And let's do a... This venom too. Alright, so. Shoot once. Chuck by him. Chuck by him. Chuck by him. Surely this does big deeps to him. Yeah, it does really good damage when it actually hits. Okay. One chuck for each laddie. And pray. There we go. Come back and hit. Yeah, look how much damage that does. It's kind of nutty, actually. Come back and hit my lad here. No, don't hit me. Hit that guy. That's the one thing about the gunnery that sucks, is it doesn't target the right guy. Come back. Come on, come back. Yes, it's going to hit him. No! Come on, hit, hit our main lad. There we go. Now hit you. Hit you. There's no way it misses that guy. Come on. Come on, Gunnerang. You owe me. Oh, it, it actually two shots them. Okay, that's so crazy how it literally two shots these robots. If it actually hits, the damage is incredible. This is one of the best fights to do it, too. This is actually the one fight that I've actually gotten it to work. Chuck. Chuck. I'm gonna hit the right target. Don't hit me, brother! Oh my gosh. They always want to hit me. Hit the target. Come on. Yes, don't hit me. Hit, hit the raid boss, please. Yes, thank you. Oh gosh. 
The gun orang is so funny. I mean, it's really strong, but it's just... It is not consistent. Is that another gun orang? Oh, it's a hornet. It's a twin hornet, actually. Would have been really nice for this fight, to be honest with you. But it gets splash damage scaling, so we take it for sure. What do we get from here? A lead storm or an actualizer? Well, let's... Lead storm is good. And it gets splash damage scaling, so we take it. Even though I already have a decent corrosive damage weapon. Not a big fan of the Seeker. Just shoots too slow for my liking. Anything else, Hyperius? Anything else you want to hook me up with? See, launcher damage isn't bad. Hoping maybe for a peak opener and I just run that the whole run. But, it's like we're good. He dropped with me a lot of Seraph Crystals and a decent amount of Iridium. Okay, let's roll out. I'm gonna thank the Gunner Rang for what it did for us that fight, but it's going back into the backpack for sure. Sorry. I might get this... I, I could give this Wild Seeker another chance. I've only ever used it one time, and it was so, 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 so bad. So I might want to give it another, another, another shot, but... It takes a lot to earn back my trust after completely being awful. So we'll see. The Hornet, though. This Twin Hornet. The splash damage scaling on this. She'll go pretty crazy. Good stuff. Okay. We roll on. Yeah, I feel like I've gotten a peak opener almost every single run where I've really, really, really tried for it. And that means that I go, f I hit the box a bunch, and then when you get to tier 3, hitting up as many pressure plates as possible. I take those. The slag ruby is pretty nice too. It's going to be good for heals. Alright, let's roll. Oh, actually, we do get a corrosive damage area, but it's not corrosive right away. Oh, wait. This is kind of a mixture. Alright, Seeker. Show me what you're working with here. What do you got for me? It's, that damage isn't absolutely atrocious, but it's pretty horrible. Meanwhile, like something like the Hornet just goes way harder. Bust a couple of those out of that guy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill out, chill out, chill out. There we go. Hot loader. Get horn edited. Not bad. Out of all the opportunity zones, this one's probably the most chill. There we go. Not bad. Just forget swapping. This, this thing... Corrosive damage, I feel like, is better against flesh targets than than fire is against armor targets. Making it pretty decent across the board, I think. Alright, let's go ahead and swap. Oh, didn't quite make it. Okay, not bad. He definitely is a twister. But let's go for... I mean, Onslaught's really good. I should probably take that. But I want to get down here for some of these skills. Impact. Now that I'm here, I can swap this out for this one. How much is that going to be worth it? Mm, I think it probably will be worth. Okay. Borderland symbol me. Where are you at? And I also want to find the, the pressure plate here, if I can. And it's not bad at all. I thought the pressure plate really, really matters in this stage. It's tier 3 when it starts really pumping. I just kind of want to know where it is. They, they typically are pretty well hidden. I got a gut feeling though. It's behind here. 
Gotta be up here then. Oh my gosh, it actually is. That's crazy. Got it. How do we get in there though? Oh, can we even? Jump, jump crouch, jump crouch. Oh, we made it. Let's go. Okay, let's roll out. This Hector's Paradise, or not, sorry, this Hornet is popping. Popping. I forged shouldn't be too tough. No, I'm using the wrong element, but honestly, Rosif is broken. Most broken element. <laughs> Besides, you know, slag and shock. But I just feel like Corrosive just, it just does a ridiculous amount of damage to non-armor targets. Whereas if you try to use fire against armor targets, it doesn't work at all, so. Unless you're really popping, like, packing some serious heat. What kind of relics do I have? I've got this cool now, right one on. Let's go Sheriff's Badge here. The even more damage. Yep. So easy. Good. Also, this with Cloud Kill, I'll be able to stack up my my Bloodlust stacks really high. There we go. Incendiary damage, extra shot chance. So now we can. Take impact until we get to blood filled guns. Well, let's see. I think maybe failing shield and then blood filled guns. So, what this will do for us now is that for each stack of bloodlust, we will be getting a, a bigger magazine size, which not only is that strong in general, but it will also um, allow us to have bigger TD or launcher size, which could come in handy. Yeah. I haven't really tried the build. I saw Mr. TX01 on YouTube put out a Javelin Creek launcher build, and I can kind of do the same thing. Same idea here. If I pull it off correctly. I would like to get like a top near or some sort of E-Tech launcher before I do it, but I don't it doesn't need to be E-Tech. Okay. Ooh, opportunity. Okay, I'm happy to have this pistol. Had to be use happy to be using this. Alright, let me target some high grounds. Oh, that was a mistake. Whatever. So let's pick it back up. It'll come back up quickly. Later, kid. Don't flank me. Oh my gosh, you got rinsed. Save my turret for when the Constructor gets here. The Constructor resists grenade damage, so... Might be a little tricky to kill. Go down, go down, go down. My turret right here. Go. Eat some, eat some grenades. There we go. Not bad. How much damage can I do this constructor? Actually, not bad at all. Keep going, keep going. If I can kill this constructor, I can really get some pressure off of me. Thank you, turret, for tanking for so long. Thank you so much. There we go. Easy rounds. Okay, so for next five, let's go blood-filled guns. Ward, and we have a lot of stuff, other stuff that we can do here. Do we also have? We don't have delusional damage. No, that could that could make my frozen also let me on fire. I'm not gonna be lighting myself on fire. I don't think. I don't want to be. Maybe at the very end, maybe lighting myself on fire would be good. Okay. Like where we're at. I'm afraid to use the, the gunnerang if it's not the right situation because I know it'll just kill me. But having a gun get me through at least one, like, to, just to get you through one raid boss is pretty worth it, to be honest. It did its job. The gunnerang officially has its niche uses with me. 
it's not completely useless now in my eyes it actually works for something i'm just looking around for the pressure plate is all mm, not seeing it anywhere like this stage would be hard to hide it on unless it's in the dead center Oh, let's see. We do want a Grenadier and Impact. No, so close. Let's see. Up, we can check up here. Hop around. No. Last place I want to check is right inside here, but... Oh, I can use this? For what? Nothing looks like. Okay, let's roll. Let's roll. Frostburn Canyon this time, okay. We're gonna really see if the corrosion damage can help us out here. Yeah, look at that. That's really nice, actually. Okay. Hmm. None of that. Uh, let's just clear this stage top left to bottom right. Seems to be a good way to do it. And thank God for those hornets. Ooh, especially against this laddie. Yep. Got some transfusion grenades out. Got my turret out. Go ahead, transfusions. Make your way back to me. Here we go. Reclaim turret. Shoot radio number two. Oh, it's already shot. Good. Now don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. The same writer Clayton's gonna come up here and try to kill me. Don't do it, homie. Okay, so radio number three is in the middle section. I don't want to drop down to the ground quite yet entirely. Would like to get my turret down here. Oh my gosh, I'm getting firebomb grenaded. That's new. Oh, thank you, Raging Goliath. Appreciate you. Stay on and stay ready to play in here. That's my kill, homie. Sorry. He has to drop something, right? Uh oh, I'm in trouble. Okay, transfusion, come back to me. You're supposed to drop a unique. To fall off the edge? Oh, it's a teapot. Okay. I think the teapot also has splash damage. Okay, I'm in trouble. Oh, man, taking too much damage. Should be the end of the round, though. Yep, we're chilling. Good stuff. Grenadier and impact. Still not the one I'm looking for. Okay. Let's go for interspersed outburst. Why not? Should help out a little bit. Bonus damage. And the final radio before I can shoot the large ones right there. Pop. Okay, I haven't had to change my shield the whole game, but that looks like a better shield to me. Okay. I'm going to clear out this red chest up here, then we can head out. Always nice to get an upgrade. Let's chill. Oh, yeah. Ooh, the Scarab Research Center. I don't think... I don't think Corrosion's very good here. Let's try it. Uh, it's doing okay, honestly. Better than I thought it would. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cassius. This guy is mad. This twin hornet is ridiculously strong. Okay, he's gonna hit me. I think I'm fine. Okay, 
Don't take too much damage here. Yeah, I'm inside the, the death zone. There we go. If he does resist, he doesn't resist enough. I'm ripping him. Keep it going. Hurt me. Hey. Chill out. That slide for my turret is pretty nice. Let's see how this thing does. Good job, Seeker. You did your job. You did a tiny bit of damage. Okay. Pop this. What are we looking for? Ooh, a grog nozzle. Perfect. A better pistol. And a B shield. Oh, a B shield or slag. I already have a grog. So it's, that's an easy B shield pickup, I think. Okay, now B shield. Plus, where's my. Sh I haven't used this twister yet. It has a bad grip on it, though. Bad parts. Wait, where'd my grog go? Come on, it's the mess with me game. There it is. Yeah, I mean, this should be okay with the B-Shield, too. I think what boss we get will be useful. Hey, yeah, can you guys chill? I said chill. Thank you. Electric chair grenade? Sure, why not? Why not? Alright, next five points. I think taking them into ward is going to be good, especially now. And asbestos to get those dots uh, less on me. Roll out. Feeling good. Let's hit up this, uh, let's hit up the box though. I want something high powered. There's no way that twin hornet is better than mine. It actually is. And its sight is nice, too. A double gub. Holy cow. They're giving me all kinds of times two pellet pistols. And I don't want those. Come on. Show me the money. World burn. I'll put it in slot three. Come on. And infinity. I just have so many corrosive damage weapons. I don't really need any more. So many corrosive damage weapons. Alright, how about TDR launcher? Oh my gosh, we actually got... Oh no, we got a Maloko. It was big. I thought maybe it was a TDR launcher. Alright, Pyro Pete. We have a twister. Alright, bring it on. Let's go to the twister then. Twister me, twister me. Okay, toss my turret down. Let your chair me. I have a B shield, so. Should do okay damage. Here we go. Oh, what hit me? Oh, I did take a dot. I took, I'm taking dots. I'm taking a dot. I'm taking a dot. Okay, let's just spawn in some lads then. Go ahead. Do your worst. I did, really didn't want to hit that dot. I wanted to, to farm here. Toss this down. Not bad. I'm okay with my B shield going down a little bit here. As long as I don't take this dot that's coming. There we go. Here comes the dot. I survive it. B shield gets hit up, but... We're looking okay, as far as that goes. Sometimes you can't get back there. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Sometimes that's so bugged, I feel like. Let's just do this the old-fashioned way. Throw it out. Okay. I'm back here for the dot. That's inevitably gonna come. There it is.
Where's my beach shield at, huh? Okay. Wow, even with the beast shield. I swear this this for some reason it does not let you get back there. Oh, thank God. I'm alive. Wow. Okay, he's gonna he's gonna have to do it soon, right? Maybe he just did it. Okay. Yeah, I feel like some characters, I'm not sure if it's harder to harder or what to Come on, give me to my to my pit shotgun here, thank you. Oh, I'm out of blammo. That's not good. Lost my turret down. Hopefully he switches targets to the turret instead of me. Come on, go for the turret. I need to get back here. Oh, I did get hit. I didn't hear the sound. Dang, this 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 fight is frustrating me a little bit here. I didn't hear the sound at all. It's fine, I guess. Hey, chill out. Press a couple of these nades down. How about a green power for your lad? Let me back here, thank you. I'm ready for the next dot. Okay. Down below half already. I'm good, like I should. Feeling less, never stressed. Him in the head. Him in the head. Out of ammo again. Wow. Okay. There's some blammo. I don't really want to swap it up to a different weapon. The dot's gonna come in soon. I just know it. Grab that ammo. There it is, yep. Oh, I ran too far. Coop. Okay, let's spawn in some lads. Go ahead, lads. Do your thing. Okay, I got a B-shield up and running. Let's use it. Keep the DPS up on the boss if we can. Really not bad. For Blaster, that's a really nice assault rifle. You know what? Screw it. Let's let him dot me. I don't even care. Although I do want to get my B shield back up and running. Yeah, let's, let's go cleanse it. Okay. Be cleansed. I'm all out of grenades somehow. Okay, now, but now we have a way to dodge this dot when it comes. You gotta be getting here soon, right? Come on, you guys. Back off. There it is. It's a dodge. Got it. Okay. We slag him up. We bag him down, hopefully. This is... We can get him down to lower HP this time. Not bad. Yep, good. I would just focus on keeping him slagged up while my beautiful comes back. Come on, please let me get back there. Oh, man. It's the jaggedy edges that are doing it to me. My swirl burnout. Later, kids. Just one other one? Sure, why not? That one's for you. Oh, where's my... Where's my grog? There we go. Got it.
Okay, there's the uh, there's the the dot. Should be getting close to the end here. Nice. Okay. Power P is officially down. Thank God. I did get a, a power up there. I could have used it, but homing slag. Oh, negative. I like that. Overcompensator. Bludge shotgun. Oh, a shock blood storm. That's got a little bit something a little bit better. The one I was using before. Oh, it's all blood storms now. Jeez. Okay. Looking for a Grenadier class mod too. Mm, don't see it. Grenadier class mod? Nope. Okay. Grab up this iridium and we got to make some decisions about our weapon right here. I think Worldborn stays and then this Let's Storm can stay as well. The one thing I do not have is shock damage, which I would like and I could go for a sorrowful damage. This lead storm. B shield can make it good too. Yeah, let's just try it. Let's roll out with it. Lead storm is a nice. It's a nice assault rifle. The, the problem with it is that you can get yourself killed trying to use it. Here we go. You can get yourself killed pretty easily trying to use it because it takes it, it is difficult to hit enemies, especially while mobbing. I also have a Kerr Blaster I forgot about. Consumes four ammo per shot. But this could have some juice. Shoots a little bit slow, but it's really powerful in the hands of Axon. Not peak open or powerful, but definitely powerful. And I don't get a chance to really use it, so I want to use it. Let's rock and roll. Yeah, sure, it's not going to get as many procs as the B-Shield, but it should be a little bit easier to use than the B-Shield. Let's go. Okay. Get my gubs. There we go. There's my gubs. Not that I want any of those. I also have a hornet too. That the twin hornet. Let's keep going. I mean, the assault rifle gun damage in magazine size is probably better with the right skills. Like if I if I take this and find a onslaught and impact, especially because I have onslaught and impact. Is probably better. Oh, friendship gulag. Never mind. Go right back. Right back to the grenadier with. Here we go. And let's go for. Let's use my twin hornets. Go. Okay, bring it on. That was easy. Needs elemental matching. Honestly, let's yeah, let's let's go for micro blaster here. Wow, not a whole lot of accuracy on that, huh? Wow, that's some good damage right there. Okay, come on, don't die here. Oh shoot. Oh, thank God you came up here. Big, nice jump, brother. I was starting to panic. Always grog if I get in trouble. Where's my sheriff's badge? Let's make sure we put this back on. There we go. That should boost up our damage a lot higher. Make sure we got our ruby out in the meantime. Oh, you're going down now, homie. 
Nope. No escape for you this time. All right. So now we're going to be try trying to get ourselves some some weapons. We know where the pressure plate and the borderland symbol are here. The odds of using that gut touch are pretty low. All right. So I think maybe just maybe like I don't really want anything in this tree. This, this tree doesn't appeal to me at all. Let's take Onslaught. And then we take Asbestos. Very nice. Okay. And this Hornet's been kind of the... The hard carry of the run. Corrosive damage? I don't think it's going to outperform the... If it, maybe if it was a higher percentage pistol, pistol damage, but... Or a corrosive damage, but... All right, no peak opener. We do get a flacker. Hmm. The saw bar is okay. I haven't really gotten a chance to really use it. There's mouthwash. Okay, so what I kind of want to do is I kind of want to give the saw bar a try. I know it gets splash damage scalings. This is a chance. This is a chance to make it happen. Let's first let's kill this guy. I just want to kill this guy. All right, so. Is there really another fire? Oh my gosh, there's another blazing one. Crazy. Two in a row. When I want to try to use my saw bar. All right, so I want to give it a shot. Let's try it. The saw bar with the mouthwash relic. But I have Accelerate, right? Oh, yeah. Accelerate is probably ruining the uh, the split effect. See how the split effect happens so much further out? Yeah. I don't really feel like respecting for it either. Instead, let's just go for this Split Storm. This pressure plate back here I'm going to grab. Another World Burn. Let's check it versus mine. I like mine better. Legendary Soldier... Probably outdoes what I'm using now. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Mm. Okay, let's keep it going. Alright, Lightstorm. What you got for me? I think maybe maybe with accelerate this this gun actually does a lot better. Speed up those pellets. Toss this bad boy down. Where you at? Kill this guy over here. Oh, get juked. Toss this. I don't know where he went. Here we go. Nice. Well, that's not bad damage at all. Not peak opener good, but it's good. Okay. The win win fibber. <laughs> Interesting. Alright, so let's go asbestos. I think that's gonna be best for us. Your aim is not disrupted as much when taking damage. That sounds pretty good. Um I think weapon swap speed it actually is going to come in really in handy for the final fight. Let's take that. We want at least a little bit of it. Let's head down here, grab this Borderland symbol, and then it can roll out. Extra shot chance? No, thank you. Okay, yeah, the saw is decent, but the, the, the problem I'm going to have with it is pretty clear and that is that with accelerate it doesn't it it's it's pattern gets a little bit messed up all right so i'm not gonna use a gunner ring i'm trying to find something that can you know be more consistent mm. the crib blaster just wasn't doing it for me Just a little bit too inaccurate for my liking. 
Let me just we just rack this lead storm. That's my turret down here. Oh, of course, the first enemy I fight is an electrified nomad. Take this guy out. There we go. Go down. Oh, I'm gonna just swap. Swap, 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 swap. No. Alright, world burn time. Later. How about another one? Later. Yeah, this sled storm just doesn't pump. Maybe that's that's with mouthwash on, which is craziness. Okay, he just runs completely far away. Dang it! Yeah, it's just not good enough. It's not good enough to make it to make it work. The inaccuracy. Yeah, it's not strong enough. I honestly think the Hornet might be even better here. I mean, it's good right there. It's like, when it's good, it feels so good. When it's bad, it feels so bad. Right there. How is that splash damage not getting through? You know, like, it's just crazy to me. Get my, get my Grog out. Mmm. Now I go right back to World Burn. Screw it. Just destroy him with the World Burn. Don't want to have to do it that way, but if that's how I got to do it, that's how I got to do it. Blockhead or Lady Fist? You know what? Let's just Lady Fist the, the dragons. Honestly, it's probably going to be even even more consistent. Okay. Um. Again, I don't think anything here is that useful. Especially not useful enough to have to take feed the meat. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I'd much rather just stay in this skill tree. On the juggernaut. Okay. I th think there is a pressure pad, and yeah, there's definitely a borderland symbol, which means there's probably a pressure pad as well. And that is something I definitely want to find. Back here. Look for those nook nooks and crannies. Oh, I found it. Let's go. Something juicy. Something I can depend on. Okay, a toothpick is something I can depend on. Let's go Legendary Soldier class mod. Let's go toothpick. Yeah. I think the toothpick is something I can depend on. For sure. Legendary Soldier. The fire rate plus the cooldown rate. I don't know. Probably better. Let's just see which, which Legendary Soldier is the best. That I have. I've got a few of them. Mm, this one, probably. So now we got a toothpick for the rest situation. We got a hornet for the other kind of situation. Where'd my hornet go? Yeah. No, not that one. Where would she be? The one that's been carrying me. It's got a better sight. Is that it? That's not it, is it? I know there's another one in here. There it is. Yeah, this one's better. Okay, now we got a toothpick that goes well with mouthwash. Good. Sick. So regardless of what kind of boss I get, I should be fine to just rinse people through now. There we go. So much stronger. Love it. And I don't have... I don't have the extra grenade damage right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill, chill, chill. Scro scroll down. Use this for a second. Okay. Get pick out. The reload off. The reload's a little obnoxious, but... I like where we're at. Alright. Kill you, kill you, and then you. Uh oh, plague rat. They're gonna come for me now. Yeah, between the reloads, my I actually lose a lot of my stacks of bloodlust. I'm noticing. Okay. Happy to get this toothpick. Very happy to get it. 
Okay, we've got legendary or a uh, loot plague rat. Slag him up for me, homie. Slag him up. Okay. What is it? Batman Infinity? No. I recall. And our grenade situation isn't going that well. This homie slag go negative isn't getting the job done. Let's just go for this electric chair, and if we get in trouble, we just chuck him with this grog. Adapting, adapting, adapting. Um, I think the launcher dream is dead, so let's just let's not worry about the etex. The the brain, the first brain is back there, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Because again, all it's gonna give me is a whole bunch of etex guns, and I don't think I need them at this point. The toothpick should be strong enough to get me there. Okay, so we sprint up here. Chuck our turret down to hopefully tank. Electric chair to break the shields and then the B shield. The problem with this setup right now that I'm noticing is this complete lack of ammo. But it could be a lot worse. Legendary point man, no thanks. All right, so. The Bloodfield guns should give us more magazine size. Let's grab... Weapon swap speed. Oh, I should have grabbed sustenance. That's my bad. Sustenance to just get some extra heals going. Alright, let's roll. Let's roll out. Two more rounds. The final boss round? Oh, I got a good gun for this too. And then it's drones. Come on, let's see it. Oh yeah, that's nice right there. Okay, now these guys all resist corrosive, so let's get something out here to not waste up my ammo. A infinity should do the trick here. Did I pick that other infinity up? It did. Let's just let's use this with a pistol gun damage relic. I was gonna say, how did that not work? Where my toothpick go? Oh, there it is. There we go. This should be good enough. Especially if I have a B shield active. Let your chairs out. And once this boss comes back, we will be swapping back. There we go. Welcome back, Mr. Boss. I'm going to clear out your lads. And now back to the door. Toothpick. And mouthwash. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. The B shield like, really does a whole bunch. Oh, wait. Don't get a heal juice off on me. And she's going to. No? Looks like we're, looks like we're safe. Okay. Anyways, I started blasting. Toothpick was my first love before the peak opener on Axton. This is because it's just such ridiculous damage. It's ammo consumption is through the roof, but it's got a little bit of ridiculous damage, I would say. Way over the top, and I love it. Love it a lot. Later. Okay, bring it on. I got a B-Shield with your name on it. Longbow? Oh, you want to ju you want to heal juice, huh? Is that what is that what you're all about? You ain't gonna get that off, not against me. There we go. Down goes Frazier. Down goes Frazier. Legendary Soldier class mod that is worse than my current one. I got a lot of options for Legendary Soldiers. Okay. Now, for this final fight, I'm going to want to max out my Assault Rifle SDUs for sure. Let's make sure I don't miss anything. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to use a bonus package. Go ahead. I'm going to say, I dare a Mimic to show up. I dare you. Go ahead, Mimic. I'm ready this time. No jump scares. It's not on my watch. 
500 iridium. This one's mimic. This one's mimic. Oh, good try. I'm on edge for sure. Let's roll. Oh, I'm collecting my reward first. Of course, of course. Slayer of Terror or Electric Chair? A better Electric Chair. Don't mind if I do. If we get in trouble, we swap to our Grog Nozzle. Alright. Let's max out Assault Rifle. Max out Grenage. Max out Launcher. That's all we need. Let's do a pull at the box and then save the rest of my Iridium. Okay. I was hoping for a better grenade, but that's fine. Let's go. Feel confident. I think we can do this. B shield should help us out. Now, we need something that can bring down these lads. That I don't want to use Infinity Pistol. Something a little bit more accurate. Something a little bit accurate. Um... The gunner rank's accurate, but I'm afraid to use it. Something that's not a sorry fault. How about this overcompensator? That should be... Yeah, okay. Good decision, it says. Okay, okay. Relax, bud. All right, green. Get down here. I blast green up a couple times. Toss my turret down to hopefully tank up a couple shots for me. And... Wreck this guy with my B shield, hopefully. I don't have my B shield up even. Still doing tons of damage. Good reload. There we go, you're down. Now, oh, it looks like red came down immediately, which is not good. The opposite of what I wanted. But luckily, I got my grog nozzle. Okay. It doesn't look like green even got a chance to. Yeah, green didn't even get a chance to get off his, his lads, which is not good. We're just going to stick with the Grog Nozzle for now. I'm not too interested in, in, in trying to kill this guy right away. I'd much rather put him back up in the sky and get purple down here or something. Or blue. How about some heal juice for me? Thank you. Thank you. Put my turret down here. Go. As soon as red goes up in the air again. Come on, fly. Fly away, thank you. I right, blow. Get down here. Come on, blow. Land for land for Papa. Land for Papa. Come on, who's gonna land? There here comes Blue. Good. Not bad. Haven't taken much damage in a bit. B shields up. Oh, got a grog, got a grog, 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 grog. Well, that's not gonna do much damage. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on, stay alive. Stay alive. Don't die. Nice. Ooh. Very much alive. Very much gonna die. Very much alive. Very much gonna die. Uh-oh. Wrong weapon. I don't want to kill him yet, though. Okay, okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Go back to one. The shit. Oh, come on. Don't, don't fly away. Come on. Take him down. Take him down. Take him down. Take him. Oh, we're still back. Okay. Turret outs. Use the grog against this guy, I guess. Get purple down here. Oh, red fell. Red fell. This time I might actually want to go for some damage on him. Um, I think the hornets. The hornets gotten us this far. I think it should be good enough. Get a sheriff's badge out here. Keep slagging him. Go. Yeah, I've been slagged for the last the longest time. Not bad damage. Not bad damage at all. Oh, gosh. I need the, I need the grog. I need the grog. I need the grog. Ooh. Nice try, homie. Nice try. Okay, scroll down. Get a, get a little bit of damage off here. Really not so bad. Okay, go ahead. You fly away. Now. Give me back my overcompensator, if you don't mind. Or even a butcher would work. Go, go. Weapon three, weapon three. And get down purple. There we go. Turn it out. Reload. Purple should land. It should not be red. There we go. 
There we go. Good damage. Good damage. Okay, got my B shield up. And he should go down here. There we go. Super simple. Now it's going to be all about the Hornet. Maybe I could probably go for Butcher, but... The Hornet got us here. You gotta dance with the girl you brought. You can't dance with the girl you didn't brought. Oh, I actually didn't even have the mouthwash out. That was crazy damage without it. Okay. Hornet, get back out here, homie. You got us here. Or should I gunnerang him? <laughs> should, I, should I risk the gunnerang? No, the, I think the Hornet saved our run. We stick with the Hornets. Okay. Cross this. Back up to my primary weapon. A fire. Chill out, brother. Chill out. Still have B shield active. It's gonna go down now, though. Getting that B shield is such a huge damage increase. It's ridiculous. Not that I need it. There we go. Nice. The back to back dub skis. Woo! Nice run. Strong run. That's what I'm talking about. Very, very solid. We had what it took, and we got the job done. The toothpick came in really, really handy there. The amount of damage it, pu it pumps plus. Um, plus the the B shield. Yeah. It definitely had enough to, to get us through that zone. Very, very solid. Super good. Yeah, the toothpick, the the the, the hornet, all, all of these guns came in really handy. The splash damage, it just feels right to play splash damage, Axton. Very, very good. All right, so thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. Subscribe to see more videos like this one, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.